to the bathing suit. What I found was you seam everything like the different colors by itself. So the black with the black and the nude with the nude. And then you sew them together. And then you do the thing. I don't know. I honestly, <laughs> to be honest, I am in pain. Um, the closer my surgery gets, I don't know if it's just nerves or whatever, but my teeth start hurting really bad or are starting to hurt worse and worse each day. And I'm not all here today, but I am here in the reason or in the name of Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm here just to prove a point that if we got to get something done, you got to get it done. But I also understand, like, take a day off if you need to. <laughs> but I'm determined to get this done. I also just feel like crap, and I feel like doing something that will make me happy, like sewing, will make me feel better. I've been cuddling with my daughter like the past few days because I've just been in so much pain and I feel like I know it's not her responsibility to make me feel better but just holding my daughter and stuff just makes me feel better in general so <laughs> she's been enjoying her little cuddles and snuggles um I also have been visiting my dad he's in town and stuff but I just feel like crap and I hate that I feel this way when my dad's in town because he lives in Kentucky and so I'm just like, <sighs> but let's get this done and see how we do. But let me look up some videos and I want to try to make this video more of a time lapse than anything because time lapses register on my computer a lot faster. So we're going to do that and hopefully we can get this video up on Wednesday. All right, so how I did this video is I, of course, sewed the, or you know what? I think I sewed everything all together at once, but don't do that. Sew the nude parts together, and I think I then put the elastic, it was inside out, I put the elastic on the inside, make sure the black seam tucks in to the inside because mine ended up the nude tucked in to the outside. So you want to make sure that seam stays under the elastic. So when you sew it together, also stretch the elastic when you sew it, um, so that it comes back together. It fits around your legs tightly. So you don't have to worry about anything showing or, you know, it just secures around the leg really well so that there's no slippage of anything and then I did an elastic on the top I kind of did the same thing with that I folded it over the elastic and I just kind of or I did sew a channel around the elastic and then I stretched it out so that you know it's all stretchy. You want to make sure you stretch everything out. One, it helps um, the stitches a lot better. And two, you don't want to pop any seams once if you don't stretch it out. So everything's got to be all stretchy, 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 stretchy. But yeah, I didn't do the sides until I was ready to close them up. I don't like to do a seam all around and then sew sides together because then you have like three seams in one area so make sure that you do seams last pretty much or like you connect everything last you don't want to do a seam on the ends and then do another seam so I did the sides that were sewn together dead last and then I did the elastic once I put the sides together and since this is my project and my pairs of pants I I, I don't know what happened but the beige thread came through or showed through so I just took a sharpie and tried to get the thread to turn black but it didn't work I only did this for like a few spots but yeah, I ran out of black thread and I didn't want to quit this project. So soon I'll be going to the store, getting some more thread and hopefully 
I can get my projects to not, um, you know, have different threads or whatever. So, but I liked this swimsuit bottoms. It was my favorite. You'll see exactly how much I like it at the end. It was for sure the best and my most favorite project to work on, even though I had to constantly redo it. I believe it turned out the best and I'm starting to realize when I sew, I can mess up so many times as long as the fabric's not, you know, ruined that it's all good. So I hope you like this and let's see how I felt after I was done. Okay, I actually feel confident and comfy enough to show this. These are the swimsuit bottoms and I think I did better on the bottoms than I did the sides. Or then I did the tops. So, I feel like there's plenty of booty action going on. The only thing is, I have the seam on the wrong side of the elastic. So, you can see a little bit of the mesh. But the top, I did a band, an elastic band. And I don't, I honestly think it didn't need the band. But the band does add a little bit, you know, extra confidence on it being up here and high-waisted. I wish they were a little bit more high-waisted, but I do love this. I love how they look. I love how I did put elastic around the legs and that really helps keep everything in, if you know what I mean. So I actually feel confident in this pair. I know that nothing is gonna fall out. I know that I can do all this. I'm not gonna get too comfortable spreading my legs on camera, but I feel confident in this and the tummy control of this I felt like helps a whole lot. I feel like without this I have very a lot of spillage. So I might make another pair like this but a little bit smaller and tighter and use it as Spanx because this feels really good and I'm pretty sure if I um, do it a certain way that it will be really nice and seamless but the seams on these are really not that bad like i can barely feel them obviously i can feel like when my skin and that changes but i think i could wear this underneath pants as underwear to be honest like they feel that nice so i enjoyed these they're all spandex i <laughs> i think i want to make my own underwear now because this is like a nice nice material I like this so I want to make more stuff like this and this would be nice for like the gym if I made them longer or something this would be really nice for the gym like I could squat in these so I like them I like how the bottoms fit and look so if you like this video and enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up I'll see y'all next or Saturday. I think I'm just, after Saturday's video, I think I'm gonna just do videos once a week for until I feel better because next Sunday or a week from now, so I'll do a Saturday video, but two days after that, Monday, I will be in surgery and have oral surgery and get a tooth pulled. So I will not be feeling up for it next week. I'm really not feeling up for it this week and I don't want to I want to film the I I don't know I definitely want to film next Saturday but I might put this on Saturday because I can't I don't think I can post to another video this week so I'm gonna post this on Saturday so I'll let y'all know so make sure you subscribe so the next video if I cannot get on that you will get a notification on my community tab and I'll let y'all know if I can post or not but I'm just I really need to focus on health right now right now I have a serious migraine and my dentist is not helping me do anything right now because they don't want to put me on painkillers for two weeks in a row and I get that but like I'm in pain <laughs> I'm in major pain and I just have to survive this week. That's all I need to do is just survive. I feel nauseous every single day. It just, it's all awful. 
so I don't want to be negative so this will be the last negative video hopefully the next video will be a awesome video I'm going to try and add on my top and I think I know I'm gonna how I think I know how I'm gonna do it and I think I'm gonna add ruffles and make it look cute or just add another layer that has like elastic in it or something I don't know so I got a secret but now I have to clean the house get dinner ready for my dad and my brother because they are visiting this week which is another thing I'm gonna be busy this week with my dad and my brother in town and then next week I'm gonna be busy healing from my oral surgery so it's just all happening all at once I swear like you know so many people are like you want to go and do something and me and my husband are like no we've been busy and people are like what do you mean busy and people don't realize when you have surgery and stuff just because you're sitting there doing nothing is not like this awesome vacation you you're literally doing nothing because you're in pain it's another thing when you get to do things around the house that you want to get done but you're just sitting in bed so it's like then you want to have you time after that because you want to like get stuff done around the house and that's how me and my husband are we we like to get stuff done around the house before we go out and do anything else that's why we went and saw Burt Kreischer the other night and that was like the first time we've actually been out and like done something since like Garth Brooks <laughs> and that was like when we first met so five six years ago or four or five years ago so Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and pray for me to feel better. Thank you.